Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to episode 7 of the Van Build. Um, in this video today, I'm going to be doing the overhead storage. Also in this video, I'm going to do the kitchen. So that's kitchen cabinets, um, the drawers, bench tops, all that. So tune in, give it a like if you enjoy it, share it around if you want to. And um, yeah, enjoy the video. storage I use bits of 2x4 or 90 by 45 mil pine and I rip them down to be able to make smaller pieces so that I can build the frame. This saved me quite a bit of money but obviously just took a bit of time. For the base of the cabinets I use 9 mil MDF. I also use this for the dividing walls as well. For the front of the cabinets we got some second hand kitchen cupboard doors. This made things pretty tricky as I had to make each size of the cupboard match the front of the door instead of be able to just make the cabinets and then add the fronts on afterwards. If I was to go back and do it again, then I would definitely not worry about buying fronts and I'll just make them out of MDF. There's always there's always that one shelf in every house that I'm never gonna be able to reach. And this is this one in this house. <laughs> Just put your hand up and reach. You don't need to see. Oh wow, stand on your tippy toes. You build a tiny house and it's still not it's small enough. It's still not small enough. Darling, you have to get me the things I need. I'll just Either put my one. chocolate up there. And you ain't gonna need no chocolate. Okay, so what I've done so far um, is I've built the cabinets, put them in, and then cut out the um, dividers for them, for both of them. The dividers for this are in the shed. Um, so now I'm just going to zip these off, like take them off, and then bog up all the holes. And then I've also got to, I keep reminding myself this, this is good, I've got to run like a, um, like a channel out from underneath both of these because we're going to have LED like strip lights um, that are going to sink underneath the wood so you can't see them. Um, but yeah, it's going to be good. After I've bogged it, come back tonight, sand them and give them a paint. Woohoo! Nicole's getting eye surgery, hopefully. So she doesn't have to wear these and contacts. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay, going to keep moving. Awesome, so that is the overhead cabinets 
all finished. I've ordered the gas struts for them to hold these heavier doors up because they just don't quite hold up properly. The small ones hold up nicely. This morning I'm moving on to starting to build the kitchen cabinets, kitchen cupboards. So I've scribbled down some stuff for the driver's side, passenger side, and yeah, it should be good. I'm no pro, I've never done anything like this before, so I'm learning as I go. Yeah, gonna get cracking, it's gonna be good. Okay, so I'll just chat with you guys for a sec, explain where I'm up to. Um, I've made both the front and the back frames. I'm sure there's like a way, more perfect way. I think there's a perfect way to build cabinets. I don't know what that is. If this is the completely wrong way to go about it, I'm sorry, don't copy me. If it's halfway there, hooray, maybe you got something. So I built the front frame and the back frame for these, this is the front one, and then the back one, and then I'm going to join them with some more battens um, to kind of build the box. Hold up, my wife's calling. Hello. Hey, I'm doing this school. What's oh, sorry, I totally forgot. I might go have dinner with Clinton, um, like get a pizza or something, just you know, see what your plans were, but that's cool. Well, I plan for you to eat salad tonight, so that's what? Exactly, you know. Hey, I do like salad. I know you do, which is why I was doing it first. You know, to make your sweet potato avocado salad, which you get. That's mean. Cheese. Okay, Bye. I miss out. Love you. Bye. Bye. Oh, did that guy buy the rope all right? No. Between this frame and the back frame. And that's going to be like the skeleton, so that's not the drawer runners. That's not a drawer, there's a seat here. That's not going to be the draw runners for here. Those ones I'm going to put in afterwards. So these ones are just to hold the scales together. <coughs> Excuse me, together, and for me to go and make sure it fits. Because um, these fit individually, but I think that's because you can tweak them around a little bit. I screwed all the sticks together using a pocket hole jig, and then I also glued all the joints to make sure it's going to be really strong. This part took me a long time as I had to have all these different measurements of where the fridge was going to go, where the oven was sitting, uh, also where the, we were going to be sitting as well to take into account before building the drawers. For the drawers I used 12mm plywood. I made sure that I got a really good quality ply because it's going to have a much nicer finish once I sand and paint them. Okay, so we did get the sink out. I've made a mistake, but it's all right, because we all make mistakes. Where the drawer slides in, the one I've already made for this side here, fits right, it's good size, but I didn't account for the drain from the sink to go down the back of the cabinet. I am just gonna cut out this here from the drawer, so the drain, the pipe can go down the middle. I'm gonna keep this side rail to be able to put the um, draw slides on to mount that, so we have full size still. So I'm just gonna cut this, cut this off here, cut the base out, like I said, leave this side so it's still supporting the base that's here. And then, just gonna build like a little um, 90 degree corner in there. And then when I build the other one, 
I'm just gonna have to build that into the drawer. A little bit fiddly, but it'll be really cool. We can have a fairly decent amount of the drawer still full depth. I think that's the best way to go about it anyway. So this is the end result, voila. So drain will just go straight through and the rollers can still go on the side and have good support all the way through. Okay. I have finished building the second cabinet which has the fridge and the um, oven and cooktop in it. Now I'm just going to paint both of them. So it's getting there getting very close. Hurts anyone? I don't really care. Show us your technique. It's just a backwards and forwards motion, really. And then if there's a bit that doesn't, I just keep going over it and over it instead of putting on more paint. It's kind of the technique I've gone with, like that. Like you just go over the same bit like ten times, and eventually it does it for you, it does, does it? it? You know, like why get more paint? One dip, one dip wonder. You can hire me to paint your houses. Cause I mean, come on now. It's about as good as it gets, really. Would have paid someone 5,000 baht for this. And then anything you're not super happy with, you kind of just like splodge, 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 go like splodge, splodge, splodge like that, and then swipe. So that's splodge, splodge, splodge. Splodge in the swipe, is it? <laughs> splodge, splodge, splodge. Swipe it away. Boom. You learnt it here. Splodge, splodge, splodge in a swipe. Splodge, splodge. I haven't got the technique. So we're going to call it. I'm pretty tired. Didn't have a great sleep last night. Why <laughs> <Like> that? <laughs> Nicole had laser eye surgery yesterday to fix her shocking eyes. So now she can see. And so we stayed up at my brother's on a spare mattress on the floor. And Nicole hogged the rug all night. I just ignored it and just put up with it. Didn't wake her up and then she wakes up she kind of knew what had happened because I'm just tired all day. Because he was so quiet. Yeah. Tell me or like go get a spare rug or something eh? <laughs> it's tough being the only one that works on the van. I'm out here just working my life away. Wish I could stop and go on a cruise. Okay everyone, as you can tell this video is already turning out to be pretty big. I didn't realize how much footage I had. It was over eight hours of just recorded footage. So I am gonna cut it here and turn it into two parts. So this is part one. Next week, there'll be a part two coming out, um, which will be the finishing up of the kitchen cabinet. So it'll be how I finished the tops off, how I built the drawer fronts, what locking mechanism I used on the drawers, how I hung all the drawers, I suppose it's the same as hanging doors, how I put the rollers on the drawers. I don't know what I'm talking about, I don't know the terminology, but you understand what I'm saying, hopefully. So that'll be in part two, which will be coming out, like I said, next week. Sorry if you wanted to find that information in this video, but I didn't want you guys sitting here for half an hour watching it all. Peace out, thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you're enjoying it. We'll see you in the next video. Uh, I built one drawer and it fits, kind of, very tight fit, but I should be able to make it work.